All right, guys, we are on pattern 17, which um, at this current version of the, the BSD class is the last one in the intermediate category. And I might add more of these later, so there could be some down the road that uh, we include. But this one's sort of uh, complicated, actually, because we have, it's not really the black line I'm worried about. It's this pattern in the middle, because it looks like stripes, but they're two different versions of stripes kind of combining together. Um, so I have to figure that out. And if I look at the stripes, it goes white, black, white, black, white, black, white, over and over again. White, black, white, black, white, black, white. So I'm gonna use stripes. Uh, I have to flip it 90 degrees to get this other version of the stripes from a different angle. They have to come together at a diagonal to merge to form this one kind of square shape right here. Then I have to try tiling it you know, rotating at 45 degrees, overlaying this kind of thin black border. So uh, this could be a little confusing, but uh, I think we can get through this. So let's just start off by trying to get some stripes down here and see what we can do. All right, got my stripes. Uh, let's turn off the shift because I don't really want to have any diagonal effect yet. Uh, we'll, we can do that later. It's much easier to build this while they're straight. And I'm going to bring this down to three. Okay, so that gives me three white and three black. The third black is kind of split between the top and the bottom. The problem is I need four white. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that means we got to change this a little bit. Let's go to four. Okay, this is closer. Now, I do have the four white. My issue at the moment with this guy is see how I have the black and the top and the bottom. I don't need those two there, but I can fix that pretty easily. So after the stripe, let's do a transform. And I'm gonna turn on tiling. So I, I kinda wanna make sure I see what this is doing vertically when it repeats. Because on the transform, I'm trying to like hold down Command and Shift and basically scale this to the point where I push that black out of the frame. Now the reason I'm recommending using the tiling with spacebar is because it makes it easier to see if you've pushed it far enough so you don't even get the black line. Like right there, looks about right. Okay, very thin, let's, there we go, now I got it. So four white, three black. Good. Now we, I need another version, flip 90 degrees. So let's make another transform. Keep that down here. And this guy is gonna go into it. The only thing we're changing here is flipping at 90. Now what I've gotta do is since I have kind of like this version and that version, they have to meet at a diagonal. So to me, this looks like a triangle. So we're gonna make a blend, because I need to combine these somehow. Let's not worry about the order of the foreground background yet. We'll just connect them. But I do need to get a triangle. Uh, now to do that, I'm gonna use a shape node. And uh, let's just kind of throw this into a transform. Right now it's just a giant white square. What I'm gonna do is create a transform next to it and I'm gonna rotate it. Now, the issue right now is if I start like spinning it, like let's do like 45 degrees. You can see how it looks like it's spinning, but it doesn't, I don't see the square shape. Because remember how this has happened a, a bunch of times before in some of these other videos, it wants to consistently tile. So you're not seeing where the edge of the white is because it's just infinite. So on that transform node, let's take the tiling and change it to no tiling. Let's try this again. So now when I do 45, you can see, okay, now it's not repeating. I can kind of see where we're starting with this thing. Now from here, I can probably just like push that in a little bit. And then let's just kind of bring these sides out, pull this part down just so it's off the frame. And then I'm just gonna move this in until it looks like it's right on the corner. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so we're just kind of manually moving a square off the frame so it slices through at an angle and turns to a triangle. Now, what, the reason I'm kind of doing that is because if I use this on my opacity, this is gonna control where those two layer. So watch what happens. I'll view this. You can see right now it's only showing the foreground, but if I connect this in, look what we get. 
So it's showing the foreground here. This part where it's black in the triangle is using the background. And that is exactly what we needed for this guy right here. Now what we want to do is just get it to do this one square. So this is at a 45, and I've used this in a few different videos, but this is a really easy, easy thing to do as long as you're using the Safe Transform Grayscale. And I can just go in there, turn it to 45 degrees, and bam, look at that. You can already tell we're really close to finish this thing already. Maybe this wasn't as bad as I thought. Now I've got like it repeating, I'm just missing those kind of grid lines of black that cut through all the different tiles. All right, so I wanna tile this thing four times and I think, let's see here. I'm either gonna have to scale down the tile in a generator or I might overlay a black grid line on top of it after the generator. I kinda of need to see what the generator can do by itself. So let's find out. So I'm gonna take this guy, we're gonna put it into a tile generator, make sure it goes into the uh, pattern input and change it to image input. And in the reference, this is doing a four by four. Okay, so back here at the top of the generator, tell it to be four by four. And I think if we just scale it down, this might be pretty close. Um. I think that is it. Yep, that looks right to me. It's probably not quite thick enough, but I think we're doing it right the right way. There we go. Let me just double check that one more time, just in case I'm missing something. What do you guys think? Looks good. Yep, I think we've got it. Now, um, one small critique about this, because this is really what the pattern is doing. If you kind of zoom in on this thing, let me open this up with a preview. I want to show you why I was talking about this edge border thing earlier. So it is a scaled down pattern, but see how the diagonal lines don't line up right there? It doesn't bother me here. It's like these areas, how they're kind of like offset weird. This is where I was saying we might have had to do the line after the generator. And I'll kind of show you that version too, uh, since we're kind of talking about it. But technically this is the right answer. We've already met the reference. But let's show you the other way to do this. Let's do a different tile generator. So we're kind of going off the reference on this one. We're gonna do image input, still gonna connect it in, and it's still gonna be a four by four. Now, this time I'm not gonna play around with the scale. We're gonna leave it exactly the way it is. But what I'm gonna do is after, we're gonna connect in a different grid to overlay with it. So what I'm gonna do is make a shape, bring down the scale just a little bit, okay? I wanna do a four by four. So let's take this guy, transform it. Let's do that's say two by two, divide it again. Okay, there's four by four. And I just need to offset it until it lines up on the edge again. So what am I gonna do here? Point, what's I need to do point 0.5. And vertically also needs to be point 0.5. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking that shape, like a square, scaling it in so there's like a border, and then transforming and kind of scaling it a little bit so it repeats four by four. Now, this may seem like it's the same thing, but it's actually gonna look a little bit different when I combine this with this version over here. So if I multiply that with this guy, let me change the thickness of this a little bit. Okay, so I want you to kind of compare this. Here is the one we did with the tile generator. Here's the one where we didn't scale it and we did the border um, after as a different shape. So you'll notice that this one, if you follow the line, see how it kind of matches? This one, they're staggered and they don't really connect. Very, very subtle. And I think either of these would be totally fine. It just kind of depends on the project. But I think it's kind of important to see something like that and kind of how very small differences in how you approach the project can kind of give you a uh, 
sort of different end results.